Hold tight. See you later. Hold tight. 11-year-old okay. Jack Anderson is on the <laughs> autism spectrum. Hold tight, Jack. His mom, Stephanie Anderson, says her fourth grader benefits from being included in the general classroom setting with help from a one-on-one -on -one aide. He's grown and he, he, he has, he has um, responded to inclusion in such a way with with his, uh, his communication, his ability to um, uh, transition. But it's been months since Jack regularly attended school at Knox County's Ball Camp Elementary. Hold tight. Anderson has been teaching him at home. Go what way? She and her husband Matt say Jack's current individualized education program takes Jack out of the general education classroom and puts him into a special education class for two hours each day, a time when all his classroom peers are learning fourth grade math and reading while Jack is off doing more remedial work. They're pulling him out during his core instruction and the core instruction is what you get tested on. The core instruction is the general curriculum and currently what we are fighting so hard for is for Jack to be on grade level curriculum with modifications and supports to help him have a meaningful education grade level. The education is a changing face, you know, everywhere. Beth Price is a certified special education teacher in a different district. She doesn't know the Anderson family or their situation. She says generally there are challenges to having kids with autism and typically developing peers learning in the same classroom. Seeing sometimes profoundly inappropriate behavior. Um, not able to process through something, you know, can be frightening sometimes. It does happen. But she says generally the benefits of keeping all the students together outweigh the cons. They're learning from each other. They see positive interactions. They also can see negative interactions and what those social cues are and, and consequence. And that side-by-side -side learning is also good for the kids who don't have autism. It gives general ed students the ability to be able to be part of something bigger. You know, working together, helping solving problems. So as school districts adapt to meet the needs of a growing number of kids with autism, Price says don't be afraid of trying new approaches to special education. It's a trial and error. Every year is different. Every student is different. Every classroom is different. And that's not just in special ed. That's in general ed as well. Because as any parent, teacher, or district knows, no two kids are the same, autism or not. Becca Habiger, WBIR 10 News.